So I am here with Maria Lua, superstar DJ. <laughs> Uh, and she has this beautiful, thank you. thank you very much, <laughs> beautiful house that she has been using for meetups. And she just told me that she did a recent one and it was a, well, I'll let you explain it. <laughs> <laughs> okay, it was amazing. Basically, I rent out my space for healing workshops and my first um, clients or guests were a couple called Monique Darling and Peter Peterson. This is them. Really lovely tantric um, workshop and givers and teachers from the US, from California. And um, they've been coming to London for about three years now and they needed a venue and a friend of ours, a mutual friend put us in touch. So they did three nights here. The first night was a cuddle party, which is something that Monique Darling has, she's written books about and she's given hundreds across the world. Um, that's a whole different discussion. Yeah. Then um, there was a Dakini, um, goddess group which is what I'm here to talk about yep. and then on the final day was a pink puja which is kind of like a party a central party um, but anyway yeah so the the Dakini goddess workshop yes right and let me just that. interject here because uh, so this is the word yoni massage came out of this conversation and my ex-girlfriend brought this up recently and I felt that I had a very sort of defensive reaction to it like the whole thing just seemed a bit dodgy <laughs> and so Maria is telling me that uh, in fact it was an incredible experience yes and that I've got it all wrong so I'm well I mean each per each person's experience is different and I think that if you feel that way about something um then you got to honor that but if it lands on your doorstep like it did on mine yeah. I I had no tantra experience previous to this at all I'm not really in the scene that much I mean I'm spiritual and everything but I've never <clears throat> like explored that area same reason as you you know just wasn't sure if it was like kosher yeah um but i loved monique and peter and i felt that i felt that they yeah i just felt safe with them you know i'd had the first day with them in my house and just the energy with them was was positive so i did have my get out of jail card where i was i told them i had something else to do and they're like you can leave at any time yeah. which is actually quite nice about what they do you never do anything you're not comfortable with you can literally step out and there's no problem with that at any time you just let them know and that's fine. But basically, yeah, so for, I just, I wanted to, I just felt it's happening in my living room, I need to go. You know, there's, there's no clearer message from the universe <laughs> that this is something that you should be checking out. So yeah. I came and there were like 11 or 12 other women, um, which is lovely anyway. I love being in women's circles. And Monique opened the space and um, explained about how um, in our yonis, which is another word for vagina, in case you don't know that. Thank you for um, clarifying. Yes. Some people may not know that. Right. So that's how we, we, we were using it in this space. You have all the different seven chakras. So, and the idea, I'm not an expert in this, so I'm going to point you in the direction of Monique Darling for any more information. But this is what I understood is that as women, we hold everything there that we don't want to process. Like all our trauma, all our just it's everything, sadness, and it doesn't necessarily have to have a sexual nature. It's literally how we operate as women. A lot, it's like a dumping ground. A lot of stuff just goes there. Okay. So the idea of this kind of workshop, which is yoni massage and healing workshop, is to, is to just go down there and feel the feelings and release them. Otherwise, what happens is you tend to go numb, or you tend to have pain in sex or hate sex, or there's just so many different things that can come off the back at, at which we probably are all living, yeah. you know, some people go completely numb because they don't want to feel it, but then you don't have a good sex life, you know, and you can't really enjoy it. So this, that's what I kind of picked up. Um, so we had a demo done in front of us, which was amazing. Right. Um, so when the demo was done, did mm. they pick a volunteer or did, or was it? No, it was somebody who came with them on the journey. So okay. it was somebody who knows them very, very well. Right. Um, and so, yeah. So they kind of... They were comfortable. Yeah, they were comfortable together. It, there was a deep, deep connection between Monique and the person that she was um, helping. And you could see that. And I, I guess that's the thing that, for me, hearing about them talking about it before it was happening, I just thought, okay, this is going to be wacky and weird. I'm probably going to step up. But I was just too curious. So I stuck around. And also, leading up to that, I think was important, where we had these little mini... We had a workshop where we talked about our feelings and we got into groups of three or two and talked about different parts of our body and so that that was really empowering just being with other women and being able to do that and i think that that created the basis of trust for us all did this happen before the uh, demonstration 
Yes. Right. Okay. This happened before the demonstration. We did a bit of ki- kigun, and then we did like, um, got into different circles. They do these really interesting things. You have to go to their workshops. It's, they did. They do them in all of them, where you kind of face somebody else and you bring up some stuff like something you've always wanted to say to somebody in your life, or some hidden thing that you've never been able to tell anybody. You whisper it in somebody else's ear. Wow. Stuff like that, okay. right? So it's just like building trust. Yeah. And then, um, so by the time you get to the the whole thing, uh, like where she's giving a demo we're all kind of connected, you know, and, okay. and they're holding this really safe, steady pace. And I'm telling you, of all the, of all the Tantra stuff I've been involved in, this was the one time where there was literally, it had nothing to do with sex. It was not sexual at all. It was literally like a red tent, like women all just together. Right. That was it, you know. So I guess that's why we felt safe to go to the next level where she was like, okay, now find a partner. <laughs> yeah. And luckily I found someone next to me and we we're both in the same wavelength, both unsure, but both really curious and just, okay, we've got to go through with this. And I think because we were both unsure that made us more trusting each other. Yeah. Like, okay, you don't know, you don't, we don't know. We, none of us know what the fuck we're doing. So find the same boat. Yeah, exactly. And yeah. that kind of helped. Um, so yeah, so the idea was one person administers and the other person receives and then the other person administers and the other person receives. And were you nervous? Like, very yeah i guess because you're so conditioned with your body that whenever you expose that part of yourself it's of a sexual nature so you kind of get into the whole swing you get into the what's the word um that's you just go through with it yeah you just kind of follow that pattern yeah but when it's just that you're doing something completely different with that part of your body um yeah it's just really interesting yeah. Um, it was like a big psychedelic trip. <laughs> yeah. I, I mean, I still find it life. hard to understand how it would be completely unsexual. Like, I admire yeah. that they were able to create that space. And yeah. I can see how it's essential. Yeah. But just, did the feelings not bring, the actual physical feeling of it bring any kind of feeling of arousal? Oh, yeah, yeah. So what she explained before is that you can, ex- by doing the, the yoni massage, which first you start on the outside... And then you ask permission to penetrate with your finger, like whatever, you know, whatever she, finger you, you use that you've got the right angle. Because the idea is that you move around um, the walls okay. of, the, of the cervix, I suppose, and just so that you can trigger point all these different areas that are storing all this energy. Right. So the, there were a few ground rules, which is you always have to ask because somebody might not want that. And you always just eye contact and you're like holding their heart space and you're holding their hand and there's a deep connection between the two people um what did you ask again sorry ha- the, the, did it not the bring sexual up, thing yeah right so the idea was that yes that could come up and that's part of it okay and that's what she said specifically you know you can touch a point that it does feel amazing and feel great you know and great and you enjoy that moment together and then you move on right it's just one of the other the feelings that come up yeah you know and do you sort of go deeper and deeper as you're going what, physically? This, yeah. No, I don't... You see, this is where we need to talk to Monique about it because I don't think you're supposed to go deep. But it all depends on you and that person, you know? So... And what you... You're supposed to just go with the flow. So I have no, no other technical thing to tell you. And yeah. this, what you're asking me, is exactly what we were thinking before we did it. Yeah. And it's only <laughs> when you're in it that you can really... You get guided, I suppose. Right. Yonis are really powerful. Like, they make the world go round. Yeah, yeah, so yeah. So it will tell you what it wants. <laughs> sure. <laughs> so, yeah, it's basically the idea that, you know, different traumas are stored in different parts of it. And as you're sort of touching those parts, those traumas are kind of coming up. Is that it? And then you let them go. Yeah. I the, think the person that... feels it. You share yeah. that space together and then they release yes. it. Yes, yes. I feel like that's, that's exactly what was happening. And I actually feel like we only scratched the surface. Yeah. You know? Like... It was 15 minutes either side or something, 20 minutes either side. It wasn't a lot. And for me, it was really profound. Yeah. And it was not just about what was happening there. It was the after effects, like weeks, days, the next day, weeks later, you know, and the connection with the people that we've done it, you know, with. it's just immediate sisters, you know? Yeah, of course. So, so tell me about the after effects. I just felt really empowered. I felt like it was the most deeply feminist thing I've ever done. I felt like as women... Like I was telling you, our bodies are colonized, you know, by yeah. opposite sex and or by society. Mm-hmm. And that's a way of reclaiming it. But um, because we did have an opportunity, we had a, um, 
a man in this space mm. who was not there on any sexual capacity or whatever, just to be there as a, as a male representative in case anyone got really mad and wanted to shout at him, basically. <laughs> <laughs> For all the things that men had ever done to them, wow. he was there to hold that space. And what that does is that it made, it made or just to hold your head because you had to connect, you wanted to connect and heal that part of you. Like some people just wanted to be held in that way or whatever. He was, I think for most of it, he was just holding somebody while they were crying. Wow. You know, um, it was, just, were you sitting up or were you, would this, was the person sort of lying down? With, so one person would lie down. Yeah. And then the other person would um, kind of be over them. Right, right. Okay. Yeah. So he would be there sometimes just holding Holding the other person, yeah, the person's head who was having it done. Like yeah. some people might want, have wanted that or just to talk to. Oh, before we did the session, he was there to receive anything people had wanted to say to their fathers, brothers, husbands that they oh. couldn't. He just took your abuse, yeah. as it were. and We were not allowed to hit him, but, <laughs> <laughs> but we were allowed to say whatever we wanted. Wow. He's brilliant. Good man. He's so sweet. And he just received it all. And the work that they did, they were exhausted afterwards. They held that space. And when I think about, when I think back to it, it there is a form of like, I don't know, it was just pure energy healing, you know? Mm. Not only did they create a safe space for us, but they, I felt like it was this bubble, you know? And when you saw them afterwards, exhausted. Yeah, you know, they you gave could, it everything. Yeah, you could feel they were holding something. Yeah. And the energy in the room was palpable. I mean, it was really amazing. Yeah. And do you think that the, the I mean, I asked you this a bit earlier, but um, a big part of it was the fact that you're doing this with someone else. Because obviously, like, this is a technique that you could do yourself. Yes, you can do it yourself, apparently. I like the idea of doing it with someone else, but... Like I've just only ever done it once, and I'm new to the whole thing. Yeah. And they do the they do groups here of this in London. Right. So I'm thinking of you know hooking up with that group and just seeing if I might be interested in doing it again. But me and my partner that we did it, we're, we're thinking of doing it again. Just like meeting up the two of you to do it again. Yeah, or maybe create a, if anybody else. I don't know. We're yeah. just exploring. Yeah. But yeah. we both got so much out of it. Wow. Like we were literally on fire that week. You know, just I think that it's still rippling out the effects of it you know it's not just that there's a whole bunch of other stuff that's been happening recently but that is was definitely really magical and what i love about it is that we have that power to do it ourselves yeah you know we don't need anybody else you can do it yourself exactly you don't have to have somebody else do it yeah yeah you can literally do it yourself wow so. i mean i guess this is the reason that like sometimes when you're having sex like the other person or you will cry you know or right exactly and you and you just it's like a massive release you know yeah exactly mm -hmm. yeah wow and did anybody like have an orgasm from it or i'm not sure because i was i just i was in, involved in my own All but right. there was a lot of screaming and laughing and giggling okay so bring out loads of different kinds of emotions so like wow it were like um wild yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah 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 people are just letting go and i just feel the energy in in the space was you know, I woke up the next morning and walked into my living room and I was like, wow. Wow. Just yesterday, they were just like, yeah, it just, it just feels really powerful. It feels really healing. It, feel, it felt like maybe we're not just doing it for us, but it created this vortex of feminine healing that right. I think ripples out. Yeah. You know? Well, obviously, when you heal yourself, like you know, you're, you're going to take that in everything that you do. So you're, that's going to ripple out just like right. that. That's true. Yeah, I think it helps everybody because definitely the next day at work I was smiling. Yeah. <laughs> and, not, and not that I had the best sex, it wasn't that, it was just I felt... And then I was just sitting in this boring meeting thinking, hmm, just last night. <laughs> <laughs> amazing. It was amazing. And do you want to tell us about the next event that happened? This um, okay. pink puja. Oh, the pink puja. Yeah. So what, what does the, that mean, puja? Uh, apparently it means prayer okay. in Indian. Um, but th it's these parties that... Um, it's like a conscious... Um, central kind of party so that that Monique and Peter host and they just involved all different senses like taste touch um, sound um, but the idea was they start their workshops always the same with some Qigong and okay. then um, um, then like everyone gets in a circle and faces everybody else and you kind of have this it's the same exact thing they did in the other in the women's thing where they lead you to look at the other person and like either that's somebody you missed for a very, very, very long time and you want to say something to them or some, 
whatever, just all just stuff that you end up connecting with, you move around the circle, so with every single person in the room, right. you get to open up in some different way. Wow. Yeah, so by the time you've finished those exercises, there's just this feeling of, um, yeah, just connection. Wow. Connection, basically. Yeah. That's basically what all this is about, is connection. Yeah. Which I love so much, you know? It's yeah, just different same. ways of doing it. Um, yeah, and then there were different things, like you'd cuddle with somebody, or... Um, you'd um, feed each other grapes or, you know, kind of massage each other. And sometimes it were like three people. So it was uh, one of the things was you can give all different types of massages of the different elements. You know, there's air, fire, water, whatever, earth. And the person who's getting the massage gets to say what they want. Right. And then everyone else massages them, whatever. Wow. But yeah, they're really fun. And I think they, they're not the only ones who do those events here. London. I think so, some... so you, if you don't mind me asking, you said yeah. this one kind of triggered you more than the other one. Yeah. Which surprised me because... Oh, <laughs> right. <laughs> for obvious reasons, but... Um, yeah, because I guess as I'm new to the whole Tantra thing, so kind of connecting with somebody that I don't know, mm. sometimes the opposite sex, um, I guess it's just I'm a bit more guarded in that way. Right. I suppose so. So in this one, there were there were more guys, right? Oh yeah, yeah. It was equal men and women, right? Okay. Um, so, yeah. So I wasn't. I was kind of a bit out of my depth. Although I enjoyed it, I was a little bit out of my depth. But with the women's one, funny enough, even though it feels like it might have been more hardcore, it just wasn't. Yeah. I just did not feel triggered. I just felt safe at every step of the way, and I felt really like. Yeah. But but saying that the after effects of the pink puja were really positive, you know, because what they teach you are like things that you can try with a partner or with, you know, it wasn't necessarily about what was happening here. It was more like they created this safety around sexuality that was like, and it wasn't sexual, really. It was just sensual, you know. Right. Um, and everyone is very respectful. It's about boundaries. That's the main thing. What you like, what you don't like, you get to say. Okay. And they're giving you that space to exercise that. Right. And I think that that is what the most thing that I got out of it. If you like something, you can ask for it. If you don't like something, you can say no. Right, it's good practice. Yeah, yeah. exactly. And where else do you get to actually practice that? Yeah, and you're encouraged to do that. Yeah, and that's basically what that was. It was a workshop to practice that. Yeah. And then the after effects have been great, you know, um, you know, just uh, since then. So. so do you think that the, I mean, if you don't mind me saying again, because mm -hmm. you're straight, Yeah. the... Uh, the yoni one mm. like wasn't sexual in any way for you so maybe mm. the the puja party was a little bit more um i don't know going into that area because obviously you're there with guys and maybe true. you know that kind of energy is going to come up more so that's true very much so i think actually now that you said that yeah exactly because we have all this other baggage attached to the opposite sex you know rejection i mean it comes with a whole bunch of stuff right yeah whereas for me when i'm in a space with women it's sisterly you know yeah. so I, I i don't have that um so i don't know what the experience would be like but that would be interesting to understand it might be similar yeah where you might feel a bit out of your depth but the after effects are amazing or i don't know you know yeah it's just always worth a try though <laughs> it would be interesting to see if gay women came to that puja party and yes. experienced those kind of things with guys and if they'd want to even you yeah know, and how what it meant what it felt like for them yeah <laughs> i need to interview a few more people <laughs> yeah yeah yeah, yeah. <laughs> i shall do yeah great yeah great. fascinating anything else you wish to say about any of it um that i'm really um grateful for it mm. and we're just really happy that that women that we have an ability to heal ourselves because a lot of times we are well there's a war against women let's face it and mm -hmm. we're you know we're in that battle and we need tools to be able to heal ourselves and heal others so strong women bonding uh, bonding is important yeah. and doing our own self healing is also really empowering so yeah Absolutely. i'm really glad that i found it like I said, it was the most feminist thing I've ever done. That's quite a big statement. Yeah. <laughs> so Coming from a feminist, exactly. raised by a hippie feminist, it's a big, it's a big yeah. deal. Well, yeah, well, I must say that having talked to you now, I um, have changed my opinion on it. And I will okay. be... It, it's funny, as like, uh, you know, mostly a gay woman, you'd think I'd be a lot more cool with it. But actually, mm. I've been quite like... When I heard about it, I was just like, oh, this is another, another one of these fads, you know. Yeah. It just kind of annoyed me, but... Having heard what you said, um, 
I'm going to be much more open to the idea. And uh, yeah. let's see. If it falls in your lap, then you know. Yeah, <laughs> if it falls into my house like it did with you. <laughs> exactly, can't run away. Yeah, exactly. Cool. cool. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank you. Thank, Thank you. you.